Uh, you don't know John Dormer? How do you know that? How do you know Mr. Dormer? Uh, Hinkley, Chief Planning Officer. Good morning. Right, uh, Lord Mayor, shall we? Did you pull it off? <laughs> oh, no chance. In fact, I didn't dig my heels before they finally agreed to send as the minister. Oh, don't worry, George. We're getting a picture in the Sunday supplements. I've just learned from Hinkley that there are 22 properties spread right across the development area which have not been acquired. Oh, yes, Modest, the Craig properties. Mr. Farmer has been dealing with Craig over these properties, Mr. learned from Hinkley that there are 22 properties spread right across the development area which have not been acquired. Oh, yes, Modest, the Craig properties. Mr. Farmer has been dealing with Craig over these properties, Mr. Taylor. Right. Uh, Mr. Taylor, I'm sorry, but I came in the mayor's car. It looks as if you missed the bus then, doesn't it? this situation utterly unbelievable. Can you imagine what's going to be said if this leaks out? A major... Very nice. Your address the other day. Very appropriate. Went down very well, I imagine. I've advised Sprout to issue a writ for recovery of the land you received from Cyril on the grounds that it was fraudulently obtained. Have you, Reg? Then you'll have got him to postpone the interim audit Charlie Sprout was so worried about. I imagine the court will want access to Cyril's private books and so on, won't they? What a pity Cyril's not around to explain things. You can't fool me. Why in hell don't you keep your trap shut, Reg? He's just making you look a bigger bloody fool than you naturally are. I'm telling you what I'm going to do. And I'm taking this step because any other course open to me will involve muckraking inquiries and bring innocent parties into disrepute. I'm withdrawing Roman contractors from the tender for the municipal car park demolition and excavation contract. The better surveyor has the papers in his office ready for signature. Now, as soon as the title deeds to your properties are in the hands of Albion Developments, he has instructions to complete the contract in the name of your firm. Do you understand? Perfectly. You're a crook, Craig. A common crook. No, you're wrong there, John Roman. I'm not a crook. I just take advantage of them. Grass it over. I want the whole area grassed over. And you know what turf costs, Morris. Would the public be granted access, Mr. Taylor? Of course. That means toilets and paved walkways. And the hoarding. I want it repaired and painted. 
What do you want painted on it? What the hell do you think I want painted on it? The opera house, the theatres, the restaurants, the hotels, the art galleries and the Queen Elizabeth Gardens. What it's got painted on it now, of course. For decorative purposes. This whole area is not only a disgrace, it's an open invitation to every property developer in the country. Get it cleaned up and keep it cleaned up until the finance for the Arts Festival complex becomes available. No worries. It's been five years. This is it. That wants to have been the nucleus of the festival complex. Opera house, theatre, galleries. Good. I did like those monsters from outer space. <laughs> you shouldn't talk about our city councillors like that, Charlie. <laughs> Fred, what are you going to do with yourself when you stop messing up this city? Buy a boat and pot around the med. Wait till I go gaga, then sail off into the sunset. <laughs> What sort of boat you'd get for seventy or eighty thousand pounds? Well, I wouldn't spend anything like that. I'm on my own now, you know. It wouldn't be if I came with you. What are you getting at, Charlie? Remember the Placket Estate Company? <laughs> what about it? What if I fed it into my computer? <laughs> you can't do that. It's just a joke. It's always been a joke. My computer hasn't got a sense of humour. But we can't do that. Why not? We spent a lot of money over the last few years keeping the documentation on that company up to date. We might as well try and get some of it back. How much? Two million. Not for us. We'll lend it to Tom Craig on a 90-day loan. Tom Craig pays us back. We feed the two million back into the computer. And nobody knows a thing about it. We hang on to the interest, you mean? Oh, that won't work. You'll have to pay interest or it'll be spotted at once. Don't worry about that. I'll invent a joint venture deal with a sale and leaseback. You only pay 6% on that. Tom Craig will pay 20%. That won't leave 70 or 80,000 for us, though. It'll leave 50 or 60. Don't be so greedy. What a joke, though. <laughs> I bet nobody's ever put one over on Tom Craig like that before. <laughs> Can you do You better face up to it, Morris. It's not the management who control Albion, it's the shareholders. Those shareholders are hungry and impatient. Anyone puts up an offer on the right terms, the shareholders are going to vote to accept it. There's nothing you can do to stop them. Anyone meaning you? I've got the money, and I'm pushing through a deal. Better make up your mind who you want to see owning this site. John Roman's scratching around, you know. You've just been telling me I have no say in who takes over the site. 
Any developer who can tell the Albion shareholders he's got the backing of the local authorities halfway there, you know that. Our bank, any developer, will assume the present undertakings which we now have with Albion Developments to build the festival complex as our current planning orders require it to be built. There's no law that says you can make a developer build you an opera house, Morris. There's a law that says I can stop him building anything else, though. No. No, not stop. Delay. All right, delay. I've waited for five years to see the festival complex built. I can afford to wait another five. Can you? No. No, I can't. You know what you're waiting for, don't you? You're waiting for your own bloody funeral. <laughs>